Uh, tree before me is American Psychobor Platanus occidentalis American plane tree or Psychomor uh, in fact I am in Cook County Lions Township location is log range once famous for cultivation granaries in fact grange refers to granary beside the granary law inhabited place so this psychemore was seen by the french explorers along the river which was named after this tree as des plains river which flows through Cook County, very near to Lager Range Township. And in fact, there is second thought that another tree which is called Red Maple, as a rubrum, that also grows beside the river, Des Plains. And there are two hypotheses, either this tree, Platanus occidental, Talis, Psychemore, or the red maple tree, Esarubram. When those French explorers saw the tree beside the river, they named the river and the location as Des Plains, Des Plains River. Confusing this tree with oriental plane tree, which is Platanus orientalis called a boon, boon in Kashmiri language and chenar, water fire. So these trees have fascinating fall foliage color which attracts it and makes it a very good avenue tree. So even one can see the round fruits on the sycamore tree. They are maturing in case of Platanus orientalis. The fruits have spiny hooks, whereas in case of Psychemore, that is Platanus occidentalis, it is without those bristly look, rather they are without any hooked spines. Uh, this tree stands introduced even in Shalimar, squashed Kashmir campus, but otherwise this is rare in Kashmir. But here in America, this is one of the more fascinating tree. Another tree which I am seeing here is Linden tree. Upper surface of the leaves is green and lower surface is white. And this is Telia tomentosa. This tree huh? is called What's that? Telia tree, oh, okay. linden tree. Linden tree. Yeah. So this is a very fascinating tree, and uh, there are two, three species of Telia tree, linden trees, and this one is having the white under surface. So this is Telia tomentosa. Other trees are Telia americana, Telia cordata. Uh, popularly named as linden trees. The unique feature of Telia trees is that flowers arise from the pale colored leafy bracts. That is unique feature of any Telia tree. Uh, a log range I am able to see so many other trees, maple trees and maple is another tree which has many species in uh, this Chicago, Illinois uh, and these uh, maple trees also add to the beauty of the autumn season when these leaves get the fall foliage either golden yellow or blood red. So Esarubaram is also the red maple 
but the tree before me appears to be a red maple but not sure because it is sometimes confusing also but to me it looks to be the is a rubrum and this one is uh, abis abis uh, no not abis paisia this is paisia pungens grayish white appearance and columnar this is evergreen spruce another tree which i am seeing here laden with pods this is kentucky coffee tree kentucky coffee tree with pods the seeds are roasted and used as coffee powder and this is endemic to kentucky region that is uh north central america so this particular tree is unique to the landscape of log range as well as chicago in illinois and leaves are tripennate to bipennate and peculiar thing about tripennate leaves is the lower uh, pinny they are simple they are not divided second time so imperfect tripennate foliage is uniqueness and then this particular tree is leafless throughout winter and new leaves appear only in mid may uh, botanically this tree is identified as gymnocladus dioicus dioicus means male and female trees are separate so female trees has these pods whereas male trees are without any fruits obviously because that is the only pollen source so in log range i am showing you this unique tree which is called kentucky coffee tree or gymnocladus dioicus and uh, along these maple trees i will show you the beautiful tree which is called as this lilac trees so just i will take you to the tree which is called as lilac tree uh syringa so there are also many species of syringa and one particular syringa which i am showing you now that is japanese syringa or white syringa uh, uh also and scientifically named as uh, syringa reticulata because of the exfoliating work and moon lit white flowering dense clusters flowering is just over in the month of june since it is july so no more flowers you are able to see but otherwise during uh, mid may to mid june this particular tree has very beautiful trees of uh, flowers now the uh, fruiting and bark is very peculiar bark is exfoliating like birch bark although this is not birch this is syringa reticulata in fact variety pecaninensis chinese lilac that is more valued in horticulture and stands plant in parks and gardens so this is another tree gymnocladus female gymnocladus dioicus tree with pods and tripennate leaves and here i am showing you the bald cypress taxodium dystichum which becomes leafless during winter and it bears new foliage during the month of may june and it is very fascinating avenue tree decorative tree and across i am showing you the elm tree uh, i will just show you from a nearby location this elm tree which is also here growing in the landscape of log range but this particular tree is, is gymnocladus kentucky coffee tree and uh, this is taxodium dystichum and this is syringa reticulata and uh, this is the fruits of syringa reticulata so this particular tree is syringa leaves are opposite flowers are white and this is the maple tree ah uh, this is again sycamore which i am able to show you its bark is also unique and this is platanus occidentalis 
in contrast to what we see in Kashmir, that is Platanus orientalis. And this particular alum is Almas. 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 Uh, I think it should be Almas uh, Glaka. This is having a very fascinating work. And this is a very huge tree of Syringa reticulata with exfoliating bark you are able to see and uh, today is the independence day being celebrated across the united states uh, it basically it is 4th july it will be celebrated tomorrow but even today on the eve of independence day of america there are many celebrations and here we you see behind this flag the jinko bailopa which is the national tree of China. Jinko bailupa, maiden here tree, is a living fossil tree. So two trees uh, you can see uh, in front of the building. And uh, here I can show you the flowering of begonias and uh, balsam, that's the impatience. Uh, under this rosaceae uh, apple tree, you see the flowering of a begonia. These are begonia blossoms of many color pink, red and white. And this is Texas, Texas media. It's a hybrid in fact. This is the maple. There also you can see the maples. And this is the Log Range Village Hall. And here you see the two tall and very old trees of Jinko by Nova. One on this side, another on this side. See, this seems to be more than 100 years old. These are the heritage trees of Log Range village or in Coca County. And this huge tree trunk reflects the history and antiquity of the village Log Range. And there are many blossoms here. And I will show this unique purple colored flower which is called as fairy fan flower. Pariyunka fool. And this is skibola. Skibola. And another is salvia sage which is salvia ferinacea. Uh, skibola emulum or fairy fan flower has many different colors. Here it is purple, it can be white. It can be pink red as I could see in the Lincoln Park Zoo. And here are also different flowers which are either belong to Petunia or Calibracoa. And even the asparagus foliage. And this hedge is of hybrid U, that is Texas. Uh, so on both sides there is a uh, there are many uh, flowers uh, Petunia, Calibrequa, Fiery flower that is Skivula, Amulum and this uh, Salvia uh, Farinacea and this is the, the tree where you see the leaves are uh, bilobed so species name is Biloba this tree has uh, lived since Mesozoic time that is dinosaurs time and it is still surviving. It survived the bomb attack at Hiroshima. So these are rubber trees and stand declared as the national tree of China, where it is seen in some pockets as growing in the wild. Otherwise, this tree has found inclusion in parks and gardens as autumn gold since during autumn time when there will be a fall season November, December this whole tree will turn the pure gold, sparkling gold gold yellow leaves which before fall provide a very attractive look so this tree stands planted throughout America, Europe and Asia uh, there are many other hedges and one of the hedge which I have come across, it seems to be 
Forsythia. Yes, Forsythia also had golden glow during early spring, but since it is midsummer, so no more flowers can be seen. Uh, maple trees and sycamores, they are associated with the history of Desplain, Desplain River and the log range location. In fact, this location was inhabited by the uh, local Americans, Native Americans, Potawatomi uh, and others uh, who have intimate knowledge of the local flora and fauna. So again, I am showing you the uh, uh, that is Syringa reticulata pecanensis tree with exfoliating bark behind the bushes of Texas and behind uh, Syringa reticulata you can see the alum tree that is almus and here you can see the Samara fruits hanging from the maple uh, twigs. So there is a lot of plantation and greenery and landscape development at the log range village which is hardly 20-30 uh, kilometers from the city of Chicago and it is located very near to the Brookfield, uh, Brookfield Zoo which has uh, more than 3000 different kinds of animals, mammals, reptiles, birds and uh, magnificent uh, creatures like we have the um, snow leopard, uh, bacterian camel, okapi, uh, even uh, uh, crocodiles, dwarf crocodile and uh, black rhinoceros. Uh, there are macaws, different kinds of macaws, different kinds of cranes and uh, Brookfield Zoo is not far from this location. It is hardly uh, maybe about five or six kilometers from Log Range uh, Township where I am uh, sharing my views about the trees beside the roads as avenue trees, decorative trees to add beauty not only to the spring season but the foliage becomes extra beautiful during the season of autumn as autumn gold is the name given to this tree which is Jinko Bailova. Huge tree, tall tree and a reminiscent of the Mesozoikera and leveled as maiden hair fern tree. Maiden hair tree or uh, Jinko Bailova tree, national tree of China also named as autumn gold as leaves turn golden yellow during fall. 